Hello, hello, and welcome back to my garage. My name is Quad, and yes, we are back, and we are ready to rock and roll. So we have to do a little bit of work on this thing. We're going to do an engine swap. And I just realized, uh, before I came in, I forgot all of my tools. So to do an engine swap and a, uh, what you call swap, would have been hard, but luckily, check it out. I actually have one here. I did buy an extra one. So, excellent. Let's go ahead and do a fuel tank swap first. Um, that other fuel tank is completely full, um, but this one, I don't even know what's in here. So, we're going to yank this puppy off, and this one's going to be turning into diesel. So, we will have to make sure we drain that thing. And then, let's pull this one off. Right there, right there. Yep, slap this puppy on, get it tight. So today's video, uh, we're going to get this thing running, of course. But we are heading back to the garage, to, or not the garage, the junkyard, to pick up all of our junk. And let's go ahead and start unhooking the engine. Uh, we're going to start with the alternator first. And then we're going to get the engine block. And then we're going to get the engine and swing around to this other side and oh wait hold on we forgot the uh what is it called transmission on this side let's grab the transmission on this side we're gonna have to take this tranny as well uh because i don't have one but that should be everything let's go ahead and find out uh, no 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 i'm forgetting something fuel line a fuel line of course i always forget the fuel line uh where is it right here let's pull this off and just set it down for now and now we should be able to yank this motor. Yep, there it is. Okay, let's throw this thing in. Uh, we do have an exhaust that comes with this thing, so excellent for that. Let's go and get this thing tightened up. There we go. We will grab the transmission, the wires. Uh, actually, this one already has wires, so let's go ahead and get this all tight. There we go. So now we need the transmission attached. So let's crawl underneath here. Let's see if we can get this off. Uh, without using a jack, but we are going to pick up uh, a few things. Uh, there we go. We do want to grab a lift. I don't think a lift is going to fit inside of this thing. It is a short bed. If I had the long bed, possibly. Um, let's get underneath this tire again. And there she goes. Uh, one, two. Let's grab the drive shaft. And there it is. Okay. And now let's just get out of here and, uh, oops. Oops, tighten up the uh, engine one here. There we go. Don't forget the starter. Yep. And then on this side, one and a two. Fantastic, fantastic. Okay, let's. Uh, I think that should be everything, right? Oh, no, the fuel line. Let's grab that fuel line. It's the one thing I almost always forget. Yep, fuel lines. Okay, uh, yeah. We'll see. We'll see how this thing does. I might end up fixing this and selling it and then getting ourselves a long bed uh, down the road. But for now, this is going to work. So that should be everything. I mean, we could always take off this um, bo box and haul the uh, lift that way. But I need to grab engine parts uh, for this. We want to go get the diesel uh, right now. Uh, do we have a battery? Hold on. Let me look and see if we have a battery. We do not. Let's grab this battery real quick here. Let's so we'll grab this one, th this one, and that should be it. Yeah, yeah. So we have a bunch of stuff to buy. Uh, yeah, yeah. So I think we're going to go to the junkyard first, grab our tools, and then we are going to head to uh, the store, and we're going to buy all of the engine parts. I don't need a lift to do the engine on this. Uh, but once we start putting the dualies on here, I will likely want to have a lift. I mean, I could use this once we get the um, engine put in here. We could go pick up the lifts with this as well. So we might do that. Uh, I think that should be everything. Let's... Yeah, that should be everything. Yeah, this does look weird with that bumper Corolla. Let's go ahead and pull that bumper off and see if it looks a little bit better. I think if we downloaded some bumper, some mods... We could find a more um, appropriate bumper for this thing because it should be kind of different. Anyway, yeah, let's see how it looks with the bumper off. It does look a little bit better. That does look a little bit better. Yeah, we'll see if we have any other bumpers. I don't know what I installed. Uh, 
as far as extra parts go, but I think the Demolition Derby mod might have been the one to get. I just don't know if they'd fit. Anyway, let's jump in and uh, let's get down to the junkyard, get our tools. Oh, wait, we still need to get a dash. Luckily, I also bought an extra screwdriver. Uh, that could have been disastrous. Um, yeah, and it's an automatic, so I don't think I would have been able to just jumpstart it like I do on uh, manual transmissions, right? How we just pop the clutch, um, and that's kind of hit and miss anyway. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. There we go, that should be it. Yeah, we need this because of the key. This is not a column uh, starter. It'd be kind of cool if there was a car with a column shift, though. Uh, those cars are quite interesting. I never drove one myself, but I remember as a kid, my dad had a car with a manual shift on the column. Uh, quite interesting and strange, but that should be it. Let's jump in. Yeah, because we still need to get rims. We need to get the dualies. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go get the parts. No, no, let's get our tools, and then, then, then let's go grab our parts. Come on, get in there. Okay, there we go. The seat was giving me just a little bit of trouble. Let's sit down, get us started. Should start right up. Um, you know what? Before we do that, we don't want to blow this engine. Uh, we better check the radiator. Actually, well, this thing should be empty now because we just... It's pretty low. I forgot to fill this up at the gas station the other day. Uh, so anyway, does this have a radiator? Oh, we don't even have hoses. Crap. Okay, hold on. We're not done yet. Good call. Good call. Somebody, uh, psychically told me about that. Uh, yeah, we just need to pull off the hoses. We have the radiator. So here's the upper, the lower, and then hopefully we have some fluid. Oh, yeah, I think we have it all in our backpack. Or maybe I left it at the damn junkyard, actually. Hopefully we have some fluid here. If not, uh, and I just, this might be draining... Uh, let's see if we have fluid before... I think, I don't know if these are empty. Oh, crap. Oh, we do have some fluid back there. Okay, good, good, good. I was gonna say, we could try to pour the fluid out of this radiator into that other radiator. I don't know if that would work. The only thing I know that does work with is the, uh, power, uh, the brakes, the, the brake fluid. Um, if you have one of these with fluid in it, you can dump it out and pour it into another one of these, which is super handy. But I don't know if uh, that works with radiators. Anyway, uh, let's take the cap off and let's fill this thing up. We'll bring a wrench back in here. Um, we'll just take these just in case. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah, we'll just take them. It's fine. Uh, it's always good to have uh, tools on you. Anyway, let's go ahead and load this up. Remember on the truck, you just kind of have to jump up onto the bumper here. Oops, hold on. And then you can see the hole just a little, oops, easy, easy. Okay, well, maybe that won't work. Let's see if we could just find it. There it is. All right, well, there is one. Let's go ahead and grab this other one. I, it is definitely gonna take both. Uh, let's see if we can do this again. We're gonna jump up here and do it this way. Nope. Okay, maybe not, whatever, it's fine. Okay, I think it's full. It's doing this blinky thing. Um, it says it's still filling. Yeah, yeah, I think it's full. Let's just peek our... Yeah, oh yeah, like it's overfilled. That's fine. Uh, where did the cap go, by the way? Did I knock it down? Oh, great. Hold on. Is it under the ground, under the floor here? Okay, I set it down on top of there, but I don't see it. Yeah, I set it right here. Uh, hello, cap. Oh, wait, no, where is it? Well, we might steal the cap off the other one. They do respawn um, if you don't put them on. Uh, yeah, let's just take the one off this one. So this one should still be on there, even though we left it at the gas station. Yeah, they do respawn just as, because it's these little parts, and I guess it'd be a nightmare if you lost this stuff, right? Okay. Well, it's okay. It stopped doing its thing. Uh, yeah, I don't know where that other cap went. Oh, well. Oh, well. It'll come back on that other one. Um, and if not, it might be somewhere on the ground here. I am going to actually put one of these right here so I know kind of uh, which direction to search. We're just going to kind of line it up like that. Anyway, I should be good. Let's jump in and yeah, let's get out of here. That could have been a nightmare. Um, let's check the oil, I guess. Okay, the oil's good. 
Yeah, because you never know what the heck is going to go on with that. So, yeah, let's go uh, get our stuff. It'll be a good time. Okay, this thing, a seat. I don't know. I might need to change seats because this bastard is hard to get into. Okay, there we go. Stand up, fool. All right, let's get this thing started. Let's release that brake. And I did find out with the controller, you can... Oh, wait, hold on. We don't have any pedals in here, you guys. Um... Nope, we don't have any pedals. Okay, okay, hold on. We're not ready. We are not ready. Where's my wrench? Dang it, I did not come prepared. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. Let's grab the damn uh, pedals off this thing. And we should be good to go. I was like, why is this thing not revving? Uh, there we go. Can we squeeze our big heads in there? We sure can. Okay, that should be good. Oops, we missed it. There we go. Uh, let's shut the door. I know there's not a battery, so it's not like we're going to drain it, but anyway. Okay, okay, now we should be able to get out of here. Let's try this again. Get over, you idiot. Okay. Okay, let's shut the door. Uh, the brake is already released. Let's get it started. There we go. Anyway, I did find out uh, you can bind your right thumbstick on a controller uh, to look left and right. You can't look up and down, unfortunately. It's not a full access rotation. Um, I might be able to do that. I'm not too sure. Anyway, let's get out of here. Throw it into drive. And to the junkyard we go. Oh, okay, okay, hold on. Apparently, I don't know how to drive big trucks. So let's throw it in reverse. I forgot this house and all this is so close. Let's throw it back into drive. Okay, yeah, we gotta come out through this way. Okay, that should be better. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool beans. Yep, let's get out of here. Uh, to the junkyard we go. We are going to go left this time. And see how the drive is this way. Oh, easy. Get on the road. Yeah, this thing seems to work pretty good. Move it, sister. Or grandma. Anyway. Yeah, I wasn't able to get my uh, wheel hooked up, unfortunately. Um, I don't think I have brakes, you guys. Oh, this thing does not have brakes. Okay, we are not stopping. Okay, slow it down, slow it down. Okay, easy. I had to use my uh, handbrake. Oh, okay. Well, that's a little disarming. Anyway, let's come down this way. Yeah, no brakes on this thing. And we can't even see my brake lights anyway. Uh, anyway, that's okay. We got to use handbrake. Oh, yeah, this is that spot I was talking about. Uh, it's like a little slab. We could actually build there if we really wanted to. Anyway. Let's get going. We're going to actually take a cruise up by this house here. We're going to see if there's any uh, abandoned cars up there. Actually, I'm lying. I think I already missed my turn. Dang it. Actually, let's just stop real quick and let's see if we could look, see over there. No, I can't. Quite, oh, yeah, we can. Okay. Yeah. Okay. A little bit of a cheat. It's fine. It's fine. There's no. Oh, wait. Is there a car up there? No, 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 no. That looked like the cellar or the basement. Anyway, uh, let's keep on moving. We're going to cut through this little back drive area up here to get to the junkyard. And while we're going through that, we're going to see if there's any abandoned cars up here. Uh, right past this, uh, what is that thing called? Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lighthouse. That's right. Anyway, I think our left is coming up. Slow down, slow down. Oh, I forgot I don't have brakes. I don't have brakes. Okay. I'll check it out, guys. We have an abandoned car here. Excellent, excellent. Well, we know what our first vehicle that we're picking up is going to be. Well, we don't know what it is, but uh, we know where it is. Anyway, let's get out. Yeah, yeah. Cool, 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 cool. So this will be a car that our first thing that we haul once we get our tow truck. Uh, running now don't forget when you find one of these you have to claim it if you don't claim it it will disappear but once you claim it uh it'll be here forever yeah yeah worth 163 dollars well at least it's a fully colored car right cool what is this thing by the way it's a bart all right all right cool beans well this will be a fun project car we're just gonna stick it over on the side of the road for now and uh let's go get our tools well cool man 
Yeah, yeah, this would be a great flip. Um, it's going to be pure, pure profits. Well, I mean, it's not pure profits. You still have to pay for the parts. Uh, but you get you catch the drift. Anyway, let's get this thing started and get to... Uh, what is it called? Junkyard, yeah, yeah. Cool, cool. Well, let's not hit it. I mean, it doesn't really matter, but we don't really want to jack it up too much. Anyway, there's the junkyard. Let's get our tools, and then we're going to start buying some parts right away. We're going to take this to the parts store, and we're buying all of the parts for a diesel six-cylinder. Now, I was thinking for fun, instead of, like, going all balls to the wall and getting a diesel turbo right off the bat... Okay, I forgot. No brakes. Uh, anyway, I was thinking about getting a regular diesel first and then uh, see how that works and then add a turbo to it later. Yeah, yeah, I think that'll be a good idea. Anyway, we're almost here. Uh, we just got to load this thing up. There we go. Oh, I forgot. No brakes. No brakes. We got to use our emergency brake. All right, there we go. Let's go ahead and throw it into reverse. Oops, wrong button. And I don't have any mirrors, unfortunately, so we're going to have to guess where... Yeah, yeah, I think we hit it just right. Okay, perfect. Let's go ahead and get this thing stopped. And let's load it up. Let's load it up with all of our tools. And other good, valuable parts. So, I think we'll just pick up our regular tools. Oh, no, we have our toolbox that we want to load it into. Um, we're going to take all these rims and stuff as well. Yeah, here's our toolbox. So let's get this thing loaded up. Uh, we have quite a bit of stuff to collect here. Oops. <laughs> yeah, we can't put that in there. What are you doing? Now there's a wrench. Yep. Pry tool, screwdriver. And then these are the extra ones I brought. So we'll just keep those in the bag. All right. Oh, yeah, I forgot we have all these jack stands. Oh, good. We're going to be able to put... We have two in there. Uh, we're going to be able to put that car on uh, on jack stands, which will be great. Awesome, awesome. Let's go and get these loaded up. Um, let's see. Yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, we got a lot of stuff to collect here. Let's grab these. I don't think you can pocket the jack stands, no, but you can get these. Uh, yeah, yeah. Let's go ahead and just start putting stuff in here. Uh, should we try to... Okay, nope. Sorry about that. Does this not work up here? Actually, let's open up the back. Let's get inside. Maybe you can't store stuff up there. Maybe it's like a solid thing. Let's find out. Oh, shite. Bullet. You bastard. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Interesting. It's like cut through there. Okay, well, whatever. Don't put stuff up there. Um, let's go ahead and drop everything off. Let's go ahead and continue grabbing our supplies. Uh, yep, we definitely need our tackle boxes. So we'll stick these puppies in here. They have all of our valuable stuff in them. Uh, should we put this? Yeah, let's open this up real quick. Hold on. It's kind of dark back in this corner. Um, yeah, let's load this one in. We might as well put these electrodes in there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We need to get the move tool. Can't forget the desk here. Let's get this one in. Can they stack, I wonder? Oh, they do. Beautiful. There's a yellow pad. We definitely don't want to forget that. Or our sand machine. Um, we're just going to lay this down. And our welder, of course. Yep, definitely going to be needing that. Uh, we'll just stick this in here for now. Maybe we should go drop this stuff off before we go get the diesel parts. I'm not too sure. Um, yeah, we're going to take all these rims and stuff. These are all good. These are the ones we just bought. So we definitely, definitely want to take these. Uh, we do have one spark plug in there. Two bad uh, bulbs in there. Oh, God, we can't forget our hammer. That would have been a disaster as well. Uh, let's see. What else? What else? All these parts, um, we don't need to take them right now. We can come back for a lot of this stuff. But what we do want to take is our moving supplies. Or not our moving supplies, I'm sorry. What is this stuff called? Our building supplies. Um, let's see if we can get this stacked in here fairly nice. Okay, I think that's going to work. Uh, let's see if we can get the rest of this in there.
Yeah, yeah, this should be fine. Oh, nope, too far. And there we go, there we go. And I think we just have one more big box over here. Yep, door materials, excellent. Oops, stand up, foo, stand up, and... There we go, excellent, excellent. Um, let's grab our move tool. Uh, we don't actually, oh yeah, it's in there. I didn't think I had it in there. Anyway, yeah, let's grab our desk. Um, I might have to make some room in there for this thing. Uh, what else? I mean, these shelves would be nice. I think we'll just leave the shelves down here. Yeah, I'm going to leave all these parts down here for now. We'll come back for them. Um, we do, in fact, want to take these heavy-duty tires, uh, rims, I mean. Um, so we'll load them up. Yeah, let's go ahead and move some of this stuff around real quick. Um, is that going to clear? Let's find out. Oh, yeah, it looks like it clears it. Okay, excellent. Um, let's just jump up in here. Uh, actually, you got to crouch first, then get up in there. There we go. And we need to move this stuff just a little bit because we need to make room for that desk. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's fine. We'll just pile all this stuff up over there. And then um, can we just squeeze this back here? It kind of seems like it. Yeah, there we go. Okay, easy, pal. Easy. Yeah, yeah, let's get this all just kind of over here like this. Okay, and this should be enough room. Let's see. Easy. Nope, what are you doing? It's too much stuff. Uh, Yeah, there we go, there we go. Okay, this should work now. There we go, and let's... Oh, man, all my stuff fell out the back. Anyway, let's see if we can get this table in here. This is the most important thing. Well, it's not, because it's not like we're really, really going to be shopping from this. Well, we might. I'm not too sure. Anyway, yeah, because it's, oh, well, it's fine, it's fine. Anyway, uh, yeah, let's get these up. I don't need my thing anymore, so we're going to stick it in there. Uh, let's go ahead and get this all stacked. Now, unfortunately, this table acts like a huge block, so we're not going to be able to stuff anything underneath of the table, uh, but it's fine. Okay, we don't have much room left. Well, holy crap, and that's okay. Um, I guess we could stack it on top of the table, though. Let's go ahead and get the rest of the tires here. Yep, here we go. Uh, we do have a tire machine at the old place, so excellent for that. On um, this tire, I mean, it's a good tire. Um, we're just going to take it. Yeah, I think we're just going to grab all of the rims and tires. Uh, you can never go wrong with having too many of these, I don't think, anyway. I don't know if that's going to be very stable. Nope, it fell down. Whatever. Okay, that was a bad choice too. Okay, I get it. I get it. Maybe a bigger, uh, maybe a bigger box truck would have been a better idea. Anyway, once it's all in there and the door shut, it's going to be fine. Now right, let's get that. And what else do we got? Okay, uh, it's getting kind of dark. Now let's go ahead and sleep for the day. Or the night, whatever. Okay, there we go. A little bit better lighting. Uh, we might as well grab a lot of these good parts. We're just going to start chucking things in. Um, is this good? Empty, empty, junk, junk. I guess we could pull out our trash bag and just sell all this stuff real quick. Yeah, let's go ahead and grab a trash bag. Uh, let's go ahead and just throw a lot of this stuff. We'll make a little bit of money off of this uh, bad parts. So we might as well. There we go. Any other junk? Um, we're not going to keep the paints. I kept them in the past and it doesn't seem really necessary. Uh, there we go. Yep. Uh, these are all good parts over here, so we're not going to sell these. We will keep them and use them at a later date. Um, there's really no reason to sell these things back here. I wish it did tell us the... Oh, no, yeah, I was going to say, I wish it told us the price. Anyway, any of this stuff that we should take... Oh, yeah, 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 we need to take... Okay, okay, don't throw those away. Get this out of my hand before we screw up. Uh, let's just throw it back over here. We need to get the rest of our jack stands. I almost forgot about those and our sandbags. Um, so we should be able to get all this pretty easily. Uh, I think we'll skip the time for the sandbags. Sandbags are just going to take so dang long to load up because you can't pick them up 
in bulk, right? You have to do it one by one. Yeah, yeah, let's just get all these stacked in there. And the last one, it's not the best stacking job, but we're pretty, uh, we're pretty full to the rim here. Let's go ahead and get it shut. There we go. Uh, we're just going to double check, make sure we're not forgetting anything. Um, I guess we might as well take, okay, I don't have any more room. Let's go ahead and see if we can drop some of this stuff off in here. Oh God. Yeah, there we go. Let's just drop off our oil and, <laughs> and cooling. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, we might as well grab the trash bags. I think we'll just leave those little cutting discs here for now. It's fine. It's fine. And that's it. We're ready to get out of here. Let's head back to the house, unload this stuff, and start buying the engine parts. Now, I was going to go to sh I was going to go shop at Steve uh, for the engine parts, but I don't think I'm going to. I think we're just going to order off amazon.com. And then uh we'll save Steve for when we're trying to make money. But there we go. Now that should be everything. Now that other path that we took seemed to be a lot smoother drive back home. Uh, so we're going to be taking that way from now on, I think. Still don't have any brakes, so we do need to be mindful of that. Awesome possum. Well, this is cool, man. I'm excited uh, to get this puppy rolling uh, with a diesel. Man, this freaking six-cylinder climbs this hill with no problem. I remember some of those other cars I had on my last playthrough, like, I could barely get up that damn hill. Easy, easy. Anyway, uh, yeah, we're just gonna stay on the road and, uh, cool beans. It is a new day, but I, I can't remember how the cars spawn, the, um, abandoned cars. I think it's every time you log out of the game and then come back in. And it's a new day. I think that's when they spawn. I don't think they spawn like every in-game uh, new day. Uh, let me know down below how the uh, car spawns work. Is it every time you like quit the game and then come back or is it so many in-game days? Anyway, easy, easy. There was none up there. Um, there's usually a abandoned car up there by that house, and then of course down there by the uh, the lighthouse where we found the other abandoned car. And there's a couple other spots. Yeah, we oh easy that was okay. We're good. We're good. Any cars coming? No. Um, I was gonna say should we try to? Yeah, no, no. We don't have no room, but down there, there's some, uh, car lifts, if you want a free car lift. We will get that once we get the diesel running, though. Over here is all the jumps. And I don't, I'm hoping I went the right way, by the way. I don't know this path, or this, uh, this route back to the house very well. Yeah, I don't think we came in this way, did we? Crap. It's all right. It's okay. Oh, no, no, there's the house. There's the house. Uh, oh, yeah, no, this was the right way. Okay. I just didn't see it the first time. Anyway, uh, let's get this thing parked and get it unloaded. Easy. Ooh, that emergency brake, that parking brake almost didn't work, by the way. Uh, anyway, let's go ahead and close it up or turn it off. And, uh, yeah, 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 we're back, we're back, awesome. And everything stayed in there just wonderful, okay, okay. So first thing, yeah, let's get everything unloaded. Um, let's go ahead and just stack tires on the side of the house, or the garage over here, I think. Yeah, I think that'll be okay. All right, here's our tools, we'll bring these inside. These will obviously come inside as well. Yep, let's just get them lined up over here. Now we can get some more shelving and stuff, and I forgot to get all that loot down there. Damn it. Uh, there's all kinds of uh, collectibles down there at the uh, junkyard. I forgot. It's okay, though, because I was going to load up the house with those collectibles. Anyway, let's get this turned around, make it look nice and neat. There we go. 
And, uh, yep, here's our building materials. I think we'll just slap these back here against this back wall. And then we'll start doing some building in a, a different episode. Not this one, but we will do some building. I'll probably dedicate a whole video just to building. But I don't know exactly what I want to do here yet. I don't know. I know we want to... Well, I have some plans. I was, uh, during the editing of the last video, I was thinking... At first, I was thinking of like paving this out a little bit. Um, just putting some concrete down. But then over here, I was actually thinking of paving this out putting some stilts and actually having this like an elevated uh garage or like a parking spot so i'm not too sure anyway let's grab the welder uh, we're gonna slap this puppy in here next to the old tire machine there we go and what else do we got a bunch of stuff a bunch of bleeding stuff okay um let's go ahead and stack the sand over here i suppose I guess I could put it on the shelf as well. Let me just do the sand real quick because it just takes way too long. Okay, I just went ahead and got everything out of the uh, truck. Let's go ahead and put this back into the house. And uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I forgot, it always spawns in front. So we're going to put it right here in front of the window. This is our Amazon delivery. Uh, table so all the parts that we buy they get delivered by Amazon onto our porch anyway let's close oh no there's still a uh, rotor in there uh, and a brake caliper or not a caliper but a, a hub anyway let's just slap this up here so I got all of the coolants up there the oils down here uh, sandbags jack stands jacks underneath all this random junk uh, tools we got that over there just like so in the building materials so excellent 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 let's go ahead and put the old move tool back for now um i don't remember okay yep, i already forget where i put everything anyway we can shut this and i'm thinking over here is going to be our trash so we're going to leave trash back there um i got these tires stacked up we have four different kinds but let's go and push this thing back a little bit since it's so close to that edge there and let's start shopping for some well i think first off i mean this thing needs a lot of work but we're not going to worry about a lot of work we're just going to get it running for now let's go in the back door uh yeah yeah and what's else Did anything change in here we could take a pee maybe oh nope i'm stuck okay okay be careful when uh going to the bathroom there we go. Anyway, uh, that'd be cool if these mechanics were added eventually. Okay, 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 okay. So let's go ahead and start ordering. So we're going to go ahead and get a diesel for this thing. Um, let's see what all we need. We need. I know we need the hoses and a battery. I think that's pretty much it, minus the transmission and engine and stuff. So let's get in here and let's get... Uh, hold on. Okay, see? So if you don't know, when you move your table uh, with the move tool... Uh, sometimes it's still going to move when you bump into it like this, right? Which is kind of cool because then you can really get it into place. Uh, but nothing works. Like we can't use the part catalog. So all you have to do is save and quit. And then just load back in. And there we go. We're loaded back in and now the catalog works. So uh, yeah, FYI. Uh, but anyway, let's go ahead and switch it to the B200. Now, don't forget, we're going to be doing a diesel. And I, th yeah, it's the only diesel right now. And then we're going to go to engine. Now, uh, we do need a battery. So, oh man, they're so much cheaper at the store. Okay, stop thinking like that. Let's go ahead and just get the battery. Because we can put that in right away. Um, let's go ahead and grab the engine parts now. So, we need to get a block. It'd be a little bit easier to put together, too, if I had an engine stand here. Um, okay, so here is the block. And we're typing in block just to make sure. Yeah, see how expensive it is here? We could really... Oh, my God. I feel like I should buy an engine down at the old junkyard. It's fine. It's fine. We have tons of money. It's whatever. We're going to buy a brand new engine. So let's grab the block. Amazon's quick. I just saw it uh, come through the window over there. Let's get let's start on the bottom end first. We're going to grab a crankshaft. We'll get that crank pulley. Uh, we, we'll get the oil pan. Oh, should I have? I don't know if I should have gotten the damn. 
High performance parts are not. Well, it's just a tow truck. We could put these high performance parts in a more high performance thing. Okay, okay, okay. Here's the pistons. Yeah, I think we're just going to get regular ones for now. It's a six cylinder. Okay, there's the six. Let's go ahead and start putting these on first. Uh, yeah, we don't have any tables. Um, I guess we could build it here in the kitchen. Yeah, let's just build it in the kitchen. It's the only tables I have right now. Um, what are we going to need? I think just a wrench for now. Uh, so let's just grab that. Let's take the block inside. Uh, slap it up here on the old counter. Um, yeah, yeah, it'll be fine. Right on the counter. There we go. Let's grab the crankshaft. Stick this in. Man, this brings back memories. Oh, no, 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 no. Um, let's do it over the sink. Seems like those cabinets are a little bit of pain. Oh, no, no, get over here. Okay, let's try to put this back in again. Okay, there we go. Let's get it tight. One, two, three. Okay. This will be fine. There we go. Okay, perfect. Let's go ahead and grab the pistons next. Uh, we're just going to move this oil pan out of the way and we're just going to pocket all the pistons. We're going to grab that crankshaft pulley as well and then we're just going to drop everything here and uh, get them loaded up here. Yeah, we should be able to put everything on with relative oops, ease. Yeah, yeah, as long as we put it in the right spots. We'll get them all attached first and then we are going to go ahead and get them all tightened right after. Yep, a uh, little bit more of an efficient way of doing it. Let's go ahead and get them all tight. There we go. It's a little bit wobbly up there. That's okay. Uh, but yeah, I used to, uh, when I was a teenager, we were back in the old 90s, right? Um, I used to, me and my uh, best friend, we used to build, uh, work on our dirt bikes in the house. <laughs> in the freaking kitchen and the... Uh, Living room. Anyway, let's go ahead and throw the, uh, what is this thing called? Oil pan on. One, two, three. Yeah, that should be everything that needs to go underneath. There we go. Yep. Yep. And bada bing, bada boom, and none on the sides. Nope. Okay. F cool, cool. Let's go ahead and rotate this up. Actually, um, let's go ahead and stick it on there like... Let's try the counter. I think the sink's giving me some issues. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's going to look a little bit better. Okay, so what's up next? Uh, well, we can start building the top end. So let's grab ourselves a head gasket and a head. Okay, so here's the head gasket. Here's the actual head itself. And I think we still need to get the uh, rockers or valves. Well, I'm not sure what they're called, so we're just going to have to skim through. Um, let's go ahead and grab the crankshaft sprocket. Let's grab the camshaft. And I don't remember what we got. Okay, well, let's just go ahead and start putting these on real quick. We're going to go ahead and throw the uh, head gasket on. I think we're going to do the cam next. I don't know where this actually goes on this engine, by the way. No, no, no. I think this goes up in the head. Or somewhere. Anyway, let's grab the head next. Yep, there we go. Uh, get this tightened. Yeah, there's some kind of valves or rockers that need to go on here, so we have to find those. And then, does this go in? Oh, no, never mind. The, uh... Ah, okay, the camshaft goes there. Okay, okay, I don't know if... There's anything else though. We'll have to look and uh, see. Let's get this. I haven't built this engine. It's been quite some time uh, since I messed with a diesel engine. Okay, that's on. Let's get back out to the catalog. Uh, actually, let's throw on our crank sprocket first. Um, I think that's going to go over. Oh, like a slides right in there. Uh, we should have put that on first, but it's okay. It fits. Uh, you get that off with a pry tool. Anyway, is there no valves or rockers, or is it just all part of this camshaft? Hold on. 
Okay, yeah, there must not be any, um, valves or lifters or whatever inside of here, rockers. That's interesting. I guess those are, well, yeah, 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 that's weird. Well, maybe diesel work differently. I think they're down underneath and this is what's moving them, moving them up and down. I'm not too sure. Anyway, I guess that's it. Let's go ahead and get the, uh, this attached and then we'll start adding everything else on the exterior but that should be everything for the interior part of the engine and okay let's go ahead and grab the rest of the stuff here's an alternator bracket here is the alternator let's go ahead and get that belt here is a water pump here is a fuel filter a fuel pump uh, oil filter housing oil filter oil filter lid Let's get the fan for the water pump, the timing chain, the steering pump, the timing cover. And that should be, <laughs> that should be good for now. Uh, let's go ahead and just start putting these parts on. Um, I guess we could start with the timing. Actually, I don't know if this has all of the stuff. Oh yeah, it does. Uh, let's scooch this over just a bit. Oh, yeah, we can see the timing on there, but we're still missing the water pump right there. So it's kind of stuck in the wall. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We might have to get some bigger tables uh, or get a, a spot out here to do this work on. Anyway, anyway, let's get the water pump. Actually, let's just pocket as much of this as we can. And we're going to take it all inside with us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's the water pump back there, but let's just go ahead and drop everything and grab the rest. Yeah, it'll be good. It'll be fantastic. And there we go. Excellent. Drop all that. Okay, let's start with the water pump. Um, This should go right in this hole. Just joking. <laughs> it goes down there. It goes down there. Anyway, let's get that tight. And then there should be one more. Beautiful. Okay. Let's go ahead and grab this thing. That goes there, and let's get it tightened on this back side, and I think there's one more boat. Yep, there she is. Let's go ahead and add on. Hold on, this belt's in the way. Uh, you can't click it. What is this thing, by the way? Oh, this is the steering pump. Let's go ahead and get the steering pump added on. Uh, just joking. I am just joking. Let's get the alternator uh, bracket on first. It's going to be on that back side, so we're going to rotate the engine upward. Yeah, it's going to be on this side. Okay, that should work. Let's go ahead and get this attached. There it is. And one, two, beautiful. Let's go ahead and throw the alternator on next. Uh, we got that bolt there, and then the one right here. Wonderful. Um, we do have the timing chain on, so we should be able to put the timing cover on now. I should have put that on. Uh, sooner actually um, let's go ahead and take off this thing and we kind of lost the uh, timing cover there it is it went through the cabinet anyway let's see if we can get this on okay it's going uh, tighten full tighten okay there we go we got it there we go there we go that was a little bit of a tricky one um, this cabinets aren't really the best place to be working uh, anyway, there's one there, and I think there's still one back there. We can't quite see it. Let's get this back on first. There we go. Let's go ahead and move this engine real quick here. It's getting a little bit wonky. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I think we're just going to lay it on its side. That's going to be fine. That's going to be fine. Okay, let's put this thing back on the steering pump. We're not back on, but on. Uh, tighten that up. Beautiful. Um, let's go ahead and add on the air filter, which is on this side, which is great. Let's get that tight. And I think there's one more that we can't quite see. There she is. There might be another one on the top. Let's just jump up on the counter here. No, there's not. Fantastic. Let's go ahead and throw the air filter in and cap it. There we go. Get it tight. Uh, we can put our bag away, by the way. All right. And we can put this onto the water pump. 
beautiful and our oil filter um, I think that's going to be on the other side of the engine nope it's on this side and it goes right there beautiful okay we could probably put the belt on now um, let's see yes we can I think we're still missing some parts but that's okay okay cool beans um, let's see if we can get this thing lifted up here. Um, we might have to move. These cabinets are being a bit of a pain. Let's just go ahead and work on it right here on the couch next. Okay. Uh, let's grab our wrench and the battery. And let's get some more parts ordered. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Uh, next up, what are we going to get? Probably all the glow plugs and stuff. Well, we might as well buy the starter. We don't have a transmission yet, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and get the flywheel, the pressure plate. I don't know where the other um, the other transmission part is. The clutch plate. Huh. Anyway, I guess we'll come across that bridge once we get to it. Well, I guess we might as well get the air filter assembly. So we're going to grab all of that. We need the exhaust manifold. What is this? Exhaust manifold left, exhaust manifold left. Damn it, that doesn't help me, bruh. This naming scheme, it does not help. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, let's grab six of these glow plugs. Let's grab the glow plug relay, the fuel hoses, the intake manifold, six injectors. And I think that's it. Oh, the belt tensioner, yeah. So this is the intake manifold for the turbo, exhaust manifold for the turbo, exhaust header turbo, exhaust manifold left, exhaust manifold left. Oh yeah, that's wonderful. I think I need both of these actually. This one first will go attached to the engine. And then if you look at the parts here, this spot and this spot, these will actually line up with that. Uh, so it's a combo. I gotcha. I gotcha. Okay. Well, what should we start with? You might wonder. I have no clue. Um, let's go ahead. Let's start with this belt tensioner. Um, let's get that on real quick and get it tightened let's see i think it's just right here i don't even know if that was the belt tensioner it might have been but it might have been the water pump as well so i think that's on yeah i think so okay fantastic uh let's go ahead and grab Let's grab all the glow plugs and the uh, injectors. Uh, we're not going to be able to get all of them because our bag only holds 10 items, but we can at least get most of them. And then let's grab our wrench and our last one right here. Okay. Uh, you will need a spark plug socket to put these on, but let's get this rotated around and set it down. There we go. It's a beautiful spot. Let's go ahead and drop all of these. And I don't remember which one requires the... Uh... The spark plug. I think they might all. But, uh... Yep. The fat ones go here. Skinnier ones go there. Let's go and just drop our wrench for now. And get these all put in. And then we'll go grab our spark plug wrench and get them all tightened up. But this thing's almost complete. And as you can tell, uh, we've spent more money on this engine than I think we've spent. Oh, my God. We we lost that one. It's fine. It's probably in the couch. Uh, let's see if we can get the rest of these and then find that last one. Oh, we lost that one. Okay. Maybe uh, slow down a little bit. Okay. Let's see if we can find those other ones. Yeah, there they are. Right underneath. Beautiful. And there we go. One more. There we go. There we go. Let's go grab the spark plug wrench out of the old toolbox here. Get all those tightened up. And then we're almost set. Almost set. Two, three. 
Yeah, that's right. They all use these, so... Okay, there we go. Okay, what else do we got out here? Uh, I think we can put these on now that we have all of that. Yep, beautiful. But you still need to tighten those, and I don't remember if it's a... I think it's a wrench, though. Yeah, get these tightened. It's probably a little disorienting uh, if you're not used to working on this engine uh, with me working on it sideways like this. But it's okay, it's okay. Um, let's go ahead and add on the exhaust bits next. This is going to go on the other side, I think. Nope, it goes on this side. That's what I thought. I'm just kidding. Uh, one. Is it just two on each side? Yep, one, two. So 12 total. There we go. Two per cylinder, basically. And... Beautiful, beautiful. Let's go ahead and grab the other side next. Yeah, yeah, let's go ahead and do this side. Uh, we'll have to rotate this puppy around, though. And set her down. <laughs> there we go, there we go. And, yep, right there. Get this one tightened, and then we'll add the last one on. Stand up a little bit further. Okay, here we go. Beautiful. Okay, let's grab this last bit here and then we'll put on that air filter and we'll check the catalog and see, but I think that will pretty much be it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go ahead and put the uh, flywheel on actually next. And then I need to find where the heck that clutch plate is because this should not go on yet. Um, it can go on. But we're missing the the clutch plate in there. This is the pressure plate, and then there's a clutch plate. So I need to figure out where the heck that is. Um, I don't know if this goes into the truck or the car or the engine. It looks like it goes on the engine, by the way. I just saw the check mark uh, and on the other side at that. So let's get this thing turned. Oh, yeah, see? Okay, there we go. Let's get it tightened. Uh, one here, yeah, beautiful, and one there. Let's put the filter in. The lid, or whatever. Get it tight. Oh, is this your screwdrivers? Oh wait, does this even tighten? Does it just clips? How do how do how do I get it off? Oh, interesting. So yeah, I guess that's it. I wonder how you get that back off. Maybe the pry tool. <clears throat> anyway. Okay, what else do we have? Um, the starter, yeah, yeah. And, oh, the, I almost forgot this thing. It's so tiny, I almost lost it. Anyway, I think this goes on the other side. So let's rotate this thing around real quick. Or not. There we go. Yeah, this should go right on here somewhere. Uh, let's get that wrench back in hand. Let's see. Oh, maybe not. Hmm. We'll figure it out. I think it's on the other side. Well, let's go ahead and uh, slap her down and see if we can figure this out. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Oops, easy. Get in my hand, fool. Maybe it goes up here. Oh, I think I just saw the check mark. There it is. There it is. Man, that was hard to find. Uh, anyway. I definitely recommend putting your freaking relay on way, way sooner. Okay, is that everything? Nope, we got our starter. Uh, let's go ahead and attach this to the engine real quick. Uh, but this thing is pretty much built. We're going to have to find that clutch plate, though. And it's just the two. Okay, let's go ahead... Uh, we can put that other piece on, on the truck, I think. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and get this thing installed. I think that's everything. We're going to double check the... We're going to double check the catalog just in case, but... There's only a, a clutch pressure plate. Uh, we are going to need a fuel line, by the way, so let's go ahead and grab that. Yeah, there's the pressure plate. There's the flywheel... Yeah, I don't think it's, uh, it's, I don't think it's in here, but uh, I don't know, and damn it, I don't know if it's compatible with any other engines. Um, is this compatible with anything else? 
the other I6. Okay, so maybe we just have to switch this to these other ice, uh, the other inline six. And I did not see it in that one either. Uh, what else is it compatible with? A V8, let's go to the V8. Pressure plate, flywheel. Where the hell is the regular clutch plate? Has it been removed from the game? No, there's no way, bruh. I just saw the damn thing on the other engine. Okay, well, I'm not too sure what to make of that. Um, I think we're going to have to pull off ours and see what the hell it's called. Uh, the one that's on this truck. So let's see if we can get under here and yank this thing off real quickly. We've been going for quite some time now. Uh, but let's just look real quick here. Just gonna detach the entire transmission. Yeah, we just gotta grab these two, and then I don't know if the starter is attached to the transmission. I think it is, and then these two here. And that should be the whole thing. It is. Now that's not what we need to look at. What we need to look at is what this. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We need to pull off the pressure plate and see what the heck the clutch plate is called. And there's still two more up top. Uh, it's going to be a little bit tricky, but there's one. Oh, we got to slide in through this other side here. Hold on. There it is. There it is. Let's pull this off. And then, yeah, this piece here. What the heck, man? Why can't I find this in the catalog? Yeah, it's just called a clutch plate, and it works for basically everything except for the uh yeah all the v and uh six cylinders okay okay let's go back to the catalog and let's see real quick we're actually going i know why it's because i have the b200 selected that's why okay let's just go to all cars let's go to the inline six diesel and let's see if it's in here. There it is. Okay. So if you're having troubles working on the truck, just make sure you don't have it selected up here. Uh, and then you should be able to find it. Very good. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, not a problem. It's just because it's a new vehicle and um, he just doesn't have all of the labeling done. Anyway, let's go ahead and grab this wrench again and let's stick this thing on. Uh, we should already have... The flywheel, we do. Now let's go ahead and grab the pressure plate. I think I left it in here. Vent, I did. Okay. And then let's hook this up and we're going to be almost set. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're just going to have to load it up with some oil, some fluid. Uh, we might need to buy some hoses still. Uh, but that should be that for this. We still need a transmission. Uh, but let's at least get the engine connected. Uh, Titan, please. Thank you. Here's the alternator, the engine block, and then let's whip around this other side and grab the starter and the other engine piece. So we need upper, lower, and a transmission yet. Uh, let's go ahead and grab them real quick. Uh, let's go ahead and put this battery in while we're at it. And does it, this already has a wires main, so we don't have to worry about the wires. But there we go, and there we go. Uh, we did buy that fuel line. Let's just go ahead and put that on as well before I completely forget on that. Uh, this fuel line will be a little bit more tricky than, say, a standard engine, but uh, it hooks up on this side of the engine. And you can kind of see the line right here, uh, but it actually runs underneath, and right there it is. Okay, fantastic. Okay, let's get the transmission, the upper and lower hoses. Okay. This doesn't help, by the way. Crap. Um, I think we're going to have to switch it to one of the big cars. And I think these are compatible. So let's grab that and that, and then let's grab a transmission real quick. And I'm not too sure what to go with. I'm thinking automatic since I'm not using my H shifter. Let's just do an automatic. They cost the same, but we are going to do a five speed auto. Um, let's grab our wrench and get these things on. Uh, we're going to bag the hoses. 
and carry this transmission. Okay, excellent, excellent, excellent. Let's get this attached real quick, and we're almost set, you guys. We are almo almost set. Uh, one, two, three. Let's grab one, two, and then these three here. A little bit trickier to find, but we got them. And then one, we'll have to get the rest on the top here. I uh, can't quite see it, but two. Oh, there's only two on this side. Okay, excellent. Uh, the drive shaft, everything's hooked up. Let's just get those hoses, get it filled up, and then we need to just make sure that it actually will start. Uh, we do need to put the fuel tank on, of course. Actually, we're not going to be able to see if this thing starts. I forgot. I don't have no fuel. Uh, so we're going to have to wait in the next one to get it started. Because I have to run to the gas station. And grab some diesel. Okay, these ones are a little bit trickier. Okay, there we go. Let's get the oil put in and all of that. So we're going to probably need at least uh, two coolants. And I think two oils. We'll find out. Uh, let's get them dropped. One, two, there we go. Uh, let's do the oil first. Um, yep, let's just take off the cap and load it up. There we go. All right, there's one oil. Let's grab the other one here. Load it in, and then we'll check it. But I think the D's, I think the six inline six takes two oils, and I think the V8 takes three three oils uh I, I might be wrong about that but let's check it real quick uh where's the old dip stick oh okay so the six cylinder actually takes three as well let's go grab one more oil uh yeah yeah yeah. we're definitely gonna have to really stock up on oils but uh that's fine let's get this loaded up real quick here there we go let's go ahead and get the cap on we're going to double check i'm pretty sure it's full though it is excellent let's go ahead and pull off the radiator cap and uh yeah let's load this thing up next uh, take that off and yeah 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 let's see if we can jump up here again sometimes it lets you kind of stay on the curb the yeah like this and it's filling just kidding it's not filling there we go. There's one. Let's just fill it up with the second one. Just kidding. Uh, that's really hard to do. Let's see if we can get it this way. There it is. Okay, there we go. This one actually still has some fluid in it. Um, it did get filled, so we're going to bring this over here. Uh, we are going to collect all of our trash real quick. Don't forget the cap on the radiator, but let's throw all of our trash over here. I think I'm going to build a little trash bin uh, with the building materials, but let's go ahead and throw that cap back on. And I think it's all done. Oh, no, we're missing exhaust. We are definitely missing exhaust. Is this a long boy? It is a long boy. Let's go look at the exhaust real quick and get an exhaust uh, thrown onto this thing. Uh, we have a regular exhaust and a short exhaust uh, oh, for a four-cylinder. Oh, interesting. What? Anyway, anyway, anyway. Um, let's go ahead and grab this one. I think this is the one that we need. And hopefully my wrench is over here. There it is. Uh, let's go and get this in our hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And let's get this attached. And we're pretty much all set. Um, should I run to the gas station real quick and get some diesel so we can get this thing started? Possibly, possibly. Before we do that, though, let's go ahead and dele uh, delete. Let's go ahead and remove this fuel. Um, we're going to back up as far as we can so we can see what comes out. Ah, oh, damn it. I'm not far enough. Anyway, let's come around this side. And then grab it. And then let's see what comes out. Oh, there's nothing in here. Oh, I might be turning it the wrong way. Uh, let's try it this way. Oh, there's no fuel in this thing at all. Fantastic. Okay, well, let's get the cap back on. Let's get it bolted up. And then, yeah, we need to get some diesel for this thing. Oops, easy. Yep, let's go ahead and get it attached really quick. And 
then we'll have to run to the gas station and grab a uh, what you call but that should be pretty much it and then after this we can go get the lift and then we can start doing the rear end with the heavy duties uh, maybe get a front end maybe do some body repairs i don't know i think i'm going to keep it a junker uh, we're going to get some decals so we can put my company logo on uh, but yeah i think that's going to be it for this one is the battery hooked up it is get back in my hand foo Okay, yeah, I think that's going to be it for this one. Uh, we have to get some diesel in the next one to make sure this thing fires up, but this thing should be pretty much ready to go. We have a full-blown diesel in this now. I'm pretty sure I got all of the parts, so we'll see you guys later. Uh, this will be the end of this one, so thanks for watching, thanks for liking, and of course, we're going to see you guys in the next one. Uh, adios, everybody. Adios. <laughs> oh, that was so weak. Oh, no, no. <laughs> I will see you guys later. Adios, everybody. Adios.